upper body strengthening is just important for just as important for distance athletes um, as it is lower body strengthening. So running specifically, if we can help build strength and improve posture through the upper body, we can help enhance and improve that running motion. So if you think of the arms in that running cycle are used to help and create momentum. We have this cross pattern. So my right arm always moves with my left leg. My left arm moves with my right leg. But it helps lift the body slightly up vertically so we can go ahead and take a nice big step forward to help propel the body with the legs. So if we have weakness, so we're really not driving through the arms, we don't use the upper body to help enhance the running cycle. One of my favorite exercises to improve upper body strength is the pull-up. I know a lot of people do not like the pull-up. It is a very challenging, challenging movement, but for for a single exercise, it really has the most bang for your buck. So obviously doing the pull-up is very challenging when you start to find which version works for you. Um, what I like to do or start with is the eccentric version. So when you jump up with the eccentric version, what you're going to do is only lower down nice, slow, and controlled to the, to the ground to that extended position. You're not going to pull back up. So just to build a base of strength, if you're in this high position here, I'm gonna start up, chin over, nice, slow, and controlled. I'm going to fall down. I typically like to do that for three to five seconds. Again, I'm going to do that for two, three, four weeks to help build a good base, get used to the motion, trying to get used to getting all the way up, chin over the bar, shoulder blades pinched back and driving those elbows back. A big tendency I see with a lot of people when they go to the harder variations is they're not able to come all the way up over the bar. So the elbows are kind of staying right here and they start to round the shoulders forward. When we do that, we start to recruit more muscles through the pec. So we really want to go ahead and use the lat rhomboids, big muscles of the upper back. Um, that help really drive us up. From there, once you work on and improve that eccentric pull-up, what you can do is add a band, or a lot of gyms have that assisted pull-up machine, add some weight on there to offset your body weight, and then can, it will help you a little bit get up on the pull-up. So from here, I'm gonna step on top of the band or use the machine. I'm gonna make sure I'm still going all the way down. I'm not gonna let the band make me cheat because there's a lot of tension here at the bottom. I'm gonna drive up, squeeze the shoulder blades, nice, slow, and controlled back down. So all the same principles apply, making sure the chin comes all the way up over the bar. When you go down on the pull-up, I think a lot of people are confused on how low to go. A lot of people stop too short. You need to go all the way down until there's just barely, probably about a, a five to 10 degree bend in the elbow. It's really based on the shoulder blades actually. When you go down, you don't want to lose tension with the shoulder blades. You're still squeezing the shoulder blades back and down slightly, but you're not completely hanging. Okay. From there, once you have mastered that, mastered the assisted pull-up, you can go ahead and jump into the regular pull-up. So with no assistance at all, it doesn't matter how many reps, could be one, could be 20. We're gonna jump up here, nice slow control, coming all the way down to that position, squeeze the shoulder blades and the arms, and then drive back up. So incorporating the pull-up into your program is very important. Again, not finding the hardest version, but finding what version fits you, start to build a good level of function and strength, and then progress from there.